Last week was nothing short of exceptional for the luxury four million and ever Manhattan market. We were just one contract shy from breaking this year's weekly record. Can you believe it? This level of activity speaks volumes about the enduring demand for luxury Manhattan properties. Now let's talk about market shares. Condominiums reclaimed their prominence, representing a staggering 75% of the market. On the other hand, co-ops slipped back to their second place position, accounting for only 22% of the market. In addition, we had one townhouse contract. The dynamics in different areas of Manhattan are fascinating to observe. Downtown with its 13 signed contracts reestablished its dominance. But here's the surprise. Midtown came in second with eight contracts. Usually Midtown is last, but it seems to have experienced a surge in demand due to new development sales. As for new listings, we saw a modest 11% increase. But here's the good news for sellers. The impact on net inventory was minimal after subtracting the number of weekly signed contracts and off-market listings. Ah, new development. It had another exceptional week, capturing the impressive 38% of market share. Buyer's attraction and allure for new development continues. Now, let's talk about the macroeconomic landscape. We eagerly wait news whether the Federal Reserve will pause rates in June. Experts suggest they're likely to refrain from raising rates, and this decision could positively influence the real estate market. Stay tuned for that. Sellers, if you've been following my advice to adjust your price and launch an aggressive marketing campaign, get ready for offers and increased showings. However, if you haven't seen the desired response, it's crucial to assess where your issues lie. Check out my video titled, The Three Top Reasons Your Home Isn't Selling and What You Can Do About It for Inspirations and Valuable Insights. Buyers, take note. The listing wave period has peaked, but fear not. There are still valuable opportunities waiting for you. Consider exploring properties that have been on the market for over 100 days. Sellers may be more negotiable. And don't forget to keep an eye on new developments offering enticed discounts. Also, unrenovated homes present a chance for customization and potential value appreciation. It's all about finding the perfect fit. In conclusion, the luxury real estate market in Manhattan is displaying remarkable resilience. Last week's impressive numbers prove that both buyers and sellers can thrive in this market. Thanks for watching The Pulse. If you have any questions or need advice, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. And remember, click the link in the description for the full palace and see what sold last week. Until next week.